This is the place. So, where do we go next? I'm not completely sure yet. The map seems to indicate there's a mechanism here that crosses the water. But I still need to think about what these lines might be referring to. I knew it! My theory was correct! Sounds like he's got something to say again. If you have any suggestions, then please feel free to share. I believe the mechanism that the lines are indicating is a spirit way. Hmm, that is a possibility. But I don't remember anyone from the tribe setting up a spirit door around here. According to my theory, it might not have been set up by humans. The dragons living in Natlan also used a similar device, long before the humans. Speaking of which, the spirit doors your tribe uses may have been built imitating the dragon ones. Oh, I remember now. Uncle New did mention this possibility to me before. After learning about the legend, I realized that it was connected to my research. And so, I looked up a lot of related information. Even though I haven't found an exact route to the mysterious island, I'm fairly certain I've deduced the geographical features of the island's surrounding areas. Firstly, it's at an intersection between water and land. And secondly, there should be a high concentration of phlogiston. My research indicates that the spirit way was originally a natural phenomenon caused by the flow of phlogiston. Therefore, the area must contain many potential spirit ways, and the dragons who lived here in ancient times may have left behind some devices to control them. Oh, amazing. Now it all makes sense. Now everyone's contributing to the team. <clears throat> you flatter me. If my theory is correct, we should already be very close to the mysterious island. Once you've unlocked the mechanism, we'll be able to derive the island's location. All right, then let's start searching for the dragon's spirit door. That's just a quick and easy name. I won't be able to include it in my thesis. Given the dragons used the device long before the humans, we should stick with a name that references no human concepts. Calling it a phlogiston node would be much more appropriate. Uh, then let's start searching for the phlogiston node. Speaking of which... What does it look like, exactly? If I'm not mistaken... <gasps> look that way! Whoa! It started glowing! This should be it, right? Looks like we can activate it once we get close enough. The light does remind me of a spirit way. But according to the map, there should be two more phlogiston nodes. Let's keep searching, everyone. We finally found all of them! Great work, everyone! Okay, now first, we need to figure out how to control this thing. Hmm. Its qualities are very similar to that of a man-made device, but it doesn't seem as intuitive to me. Is there something wrong? See, look at this. After activating a normal spirit door, we could just go ahead and use it. But this one requires someone to stay and keep operating it here. Also, according to the map, we need to activate the mechanism and switch between different phlogiston nodes to change the path of the spirit way. If we don't operate the nodes properly, then the people on the spirit way will come tumbling from the sky. Isn't that super dangerous? In theory, the process should be very safe, but only if the three phlogiston nodes are each being operated by someone. Do you think you'd be able to operate it? I just tried, and it clearly requires more skill than a typical spirit door. Though I've never tried before, I've read a lot of information and theoretically should be able to properly control it. Let me give it a try. Huh? But in theory, this shouldn't happen. If Barandra can't control it, then that also rules out me. Okay, well, how about you? After all the adventures she's been on, handling something like this should be easy peasy. All right, then it'll be up to the traveler to stay here and operate the phlogiston node. I'll go activate the mechanism. I'll let you know when we need to switch nodes. 
Just make sure you quickly head to the corresponding node, and we should make it safely. Wait, but handling it this way sounds even more dangerous, Mulani. Don't worry. It looks like the spirit ways are all above the water. I'm pretty good at swimming, so I'm not afraid if I end up falling in. But it's so high! And you'll be falling so fast! If we don't manage to reach a node in time, or if we make a mistake, there's a lot that can happen! Do you still remember the promise we made before we left, Paimon? Only those who can trust each other with their lives can reach the mysterious island. Since you two are willing to trust me, then naturally, I'm willing to trust you. Alrighty. Please be careful. Was perfect. You were amazing, Mulani. There were a couple of moments Paimon thought it was over. <laughs> I'm confident I could do it all over again. Wait, why are the phlogiston nodes no longer lit? Oh no, you're right. It appears the phlogiston nodes here need to automatically recharge. Once they're activated, they'll be unusable for some time. In that case. No matter what happens next, we have to seize our chance. Otherwise, who knows how long we'll have to wait for another shot. Do you hear that? The weather's getting gloomy, and a bunch of whirlpools just appeared in the water! Yes, we need to get to higher ground and take a look. Look over. 
over there. Whoa, there's a giant whirlpool over there. Yep, and that's our next stop. Huh? What do you mean? The info I deciphered from the map points to only one possibility. To reach the mysterious island, we must enter that massive whirlpool. No way! Forgive me for being frank, but as a guide of the people of the Springs, I'm sure you understand the danger of such a vortex even better than we do. Yes, I know. But whether it's the information deciphered from the map, or the direction of the spirit way that I observed in the air, Everything points to the path ahead being hidden in that whirlpool. And what if you're wrong? Parandra... I... I'm not trying to be unreasonable. Unfortunately, I'm very knowledgeable in this area. The spirit ways must have affected the nearby bodies of water and lowered the water level. That's why the whirlpools appear. At this rate, some of the land that was once underwater will soon reappear at the surface and see the light of day again. Don't you think that sounds more like the definition of a mysterious island? So, our goal should be the shallow waters. If we enter that vortex, the undercurrents will drag us to the bottomless abyss. Uh, he does seem to have a point. I can't find any evidence to refute your claim for the moment, but... I still trust my judgment. Then it seems like it's time for our collaboration to come to an end. But didn't we all agree to trust each other? I have reached this conclusion based on my field of expertise, and I cannot deny it. Even if you try to convince me otherwise. From now on, let us each choose our own way. No, I refuse. <laughs> you! Letting your clients separate themselves from the group in the middle of a journey will result in the worst luck possible. I will not agree to that. Then we can implement the plan I proposed at the very beginning. You're not my guide, and as such, you don't have to take responsibility for me. Oh, but you can't do that once you've traveled together as a group. If you were to leave now, we'll all be hit with bad luck. It's now beyond both our control. How about this? You and Karia wait here. We'll go first and investigate the whirlpool. I know you like to explain everything with theories and logic, so let me build my case first, and then I'll come back to convince you. Well, um... Traveler, Paimon, let's get going. Whoa, the massive whirlpool is up ahead. Just the thought of going in there is making Paimon dizzy. Do you also think that this is a reckless decision? Um... Well... It's okay. That's completely normal. Actually, I completely understand how Varamdra feels. This is just how it is to be a guide. The tribe's experiences passed down from generation to generation are what give us the ability to guide our guests through hardships. This gives us the power to decide which way we should go. But it also means that we must bear the consequences of our mistakes and judgment. Which could be quite dire this time. Although I'm pretty convinced that all the leads we have collected are pointing us to the whirlpool, I still don't know what awaits us inside. If the scholars still choose to reject my plan, I won't have the confidence to ask them to only do as I say. The same goes for the two of you. You are the commissioners, so if you think this is too risky, then it's perfectly reasonable if you want to end the trip here. The good news is that I know the way back to the tribe very well. Mulani? Traveler. That's right! You've trusted us before, Mulani! Now it's our turn to trust you! Besides, it's gonna take more than a whirlpool to scare the two of us! We all managed to make it back from the Night Kingdom. After an experience like that, what's so scary about being sucked into a whirlpool? Aw, Paimon. <laughs> Come on, bring it in again. All right, all right. Let's investigate this whirlpool and see if we can gather any info to convince that scholar. 
matters of luck aside, he definitely knows a lot about geography and we'll need him on the team. I know, it's just that we can't see much from here. I'll get closer to the water and have another look. Wait a sec, is it just Paimon or does the whirlpool seem to be getting smaller? You're right. Maybe it's just like the Phlogiston nodes and can only be active for a certain amount of time. That means we need to hurry. Miss Guide, we have a problem. Karia, what are you doing here? I tried to persuade him, but Varandra insisted on verifying his theory first. He said that the water to the south was about to be shallow enough to wade through. But after he took a few steps, the water suddenly began to surge and he was swept away. I'm not much of a swimmer, so I came to call for help. Oh, why did this have to happen now? Can we still make it into the whirlpool? No time to hesitate. I'll get in the water and rescue him. Just tell me which way he went, Karia. <laughs> came and found us just in time. Oh, there they are! Varandra, thank goodness you're all right. Thank you so much, Miss Guide. Oh, didn't I tell you to wait for me? <coughs> Judging by the changes in the water's surface, the path to the mysterious island wouldn't be around for long. I, I didn't want to miss this opportunity. It's just... I, uh, I didn't expect my calculations to be wrong. It seems... you were right. Right, who knows if we can make it back in time now? Huh? Well, the whirlpools have disappeared! Seems we missed our chance. Why would you give up on such an opportunity to come rescue me? How can you say that? It's already bad enough that you had to be left behind. Do you think I'd let anyone in my group drown? Oh. I'm really sorry. Don't feel guilty, Karia. I think if I reactivate the nodes, that will cause the whirlpools to reappear. The only problem is that we still don't know exactly when we'll be able to do that. It's already getting late now, and we've been on the move for a whole day. As your guide, I suggest we make camp first and have a good meal. We can talk about the other stuff tomorrow. Now that you mention it, Paimon is feeling a little hungry. Hey, Paimon's stomach can be very sensible. It won't interrupt while everyone's busy solving puzzles. We have plenty of tasty things to eat. Let's just find a suitable spot to make camp. Hmm, I like that place right over there. Is this the spot? Let Paimon and the Traveler help set up the tent. Go ahead, I'll take care of the fire. Oh, and here's a little camping tip. It's best to set the tent upwind from the campfire. What do you think? 
This is a specialty dish I learned to make that's perfect for camping. Mm-hmm. It really hits the spot. You're a great cook, Mulani. Karia helped out quite a bit, so she deserves some credit, too. No, no. I'm just happy I was able to help out. Uh-huh. Oh, what was that sound? Oh, it's scary to camp out at night. Don't worry. Remember the record player I bought? Let me go turn it on. Listen. Not bad, right? Wow, so it really works! Paimon thought you were just playing it for good luck! My parents told me that most of the valuable experience from our ancestors is hidden in various customs. It's always better to trust our traditions. Ah, huh. guess that makes sense. In a sense, this trip to the mysterious island is also a custom left behind by the first chief of the tribe. I wonder what kind of experience he's trying to share with us. Yeah, Paimon would like to know too! Even though I've heard my parents tell stories since I was little, I actually don't know too much about him. It's said that he was the first person to make a map of Natlan. And even the first person to become friends with the Koholosaurus. That sounds pretty amazing! Yeah. There isn't a place in Natlan that he didn't visit. Even the most remote parts bear his footprints. Even now, no one has even come close to his reputation and status as a guide. His trip to the mysterious island is the most legendary of all his accomplishments. But oddly enough, after returning from the mysterious island, he laid aside his yearning for adventure and chose to settle down. That's how the tribe was founded. It really makes me wonder what the journey meant to him. Hmm. Hmm? Uh, <clears throat> uh a, a camping trip shouldn't be this stuffy and quiet. Everyone needs to help make it more lively. How about this? Before we rest for the night, let's have a bonfire party! If we're going to go plunging into that whirlpool tomorrow, then wouldn't it be best to try to rest and conserve energy now? Now's not the time to be a party pooper. You ought to agree to ideas from the one who rescued you today. Yeah, she's right! All right. So what do the rules stipulate for a bonfire party? Rules? <laughs> a bonfire doesn't have any rules. Everyone just needs to have a good time. How about this? I'll ask everyone a question, and then we'll take turns saying what's on our mind. Okay, sounds fun enough. So, for the first question, what's the purpose of a journey? Oh, we were just talking about this. Let's hear everyone's ideas, and maybe we can figure out what the first chief was thinking back when he made the trip. Paimon can go first. If you ask Paimon what the purpose of a journey is, it'd definitely be about treasure and all kinds of delicious food. And, most importantly, it's about making the trip together with your companions. Yes, I can't agree more. Okay, next person. How about you, Traveler? You sure are taking your time thinking about it. 
Oh, I get it. You must have passed through many nations before making it to Natlan, right? It's quite possible that your experience traveling is more than what I have as a guide. It's understandable that you can't explain it off the top of your head. Why don't I circle back to you later? You can tell me once you have a clear answer. Next... Let's hear what Karia has to say. Me? If you ask about my travels... Well, this is actually my first time traveling. So I don't have anything useful to contribute. That doesn't matter. This is a party around the bonfire, not some research seminar. All right. If I had to say what the meaning of a journey is, I'd say it provides an opportunity for true companionship. Before you reach the destination, you don't need to think about anything outside the trip itself. As long as you stick together with your companions, you won't have any trouble to worry about. Yeah, I get it. I'm on cue! Uh-huh. I hope that didn't sound too silly. <clears throat> All right. Now, it's Varamdra's turn. All right, if you insist. In my opinion, our goals and dreams in life are all in pursuit of what we call results. The so-called journey is but a path that leads to these results. So, the greatest meaning of a journey lies in managing to find the right result. Not sure I completely get what you mean. There's nothing difficult to understand. It's the same as the decision of your first chief. He must have discovered enough valuable results after visiting the mysterious island to decide that he should end his journey. Once you've achieved the results you want, any additional journeys would become all but meaningless. Um... Before coming here, Someone had stolen the results of one of my research projects. All that person had to do was sign his name on my achievements, and he was able to take all of the honors. All my effort vanished into the air as though it never existed. Do you understand now, Misguide? Without results, the journey is meaningless. I sympathize with your situation, but I'm afraid I can't agree with your take. I don't need your sympathy. As long as I can reach the mysterious island and find the correct results, my pain and struggles will become just another insignificant part of the process. What happened during the day already proved that my theories were wrong, so I'm willing to trust your judgment. I apologize for our previous argument. I must make it to the mysterious island, and if I have to entrust my life to someone else to achieve that goal, then so be it! Was that actually supposed to be an apology? Because it sounded kind of awkward. Actually, there is a saying among the guides of the people of the springs. If the goal of the journey was to reach the destination, then you should have never left the house to begin with. Because the final destination of every journey is your home. It would be disrespectful of my duties as a guide if I were just taking tourists straight to where they wanted to go. It's my hope to also make everyone feel happy along the way to their destination. That is what I would truly call a journey. And that is my answer. Just as you don't agree with me, I can't agree with your point of view either. I'm not too worried about that. After all, another purpose of traveling is to help people understand each other better. What sort of logic is that? All right, that's it for this round. Since it's still early, how about we tell some horror stories next? Huh? Oh, now Paimon's scared. <sighs> Paimon slept so well. Oh, Mulani and the others seem to be up already. Let's go see what they're up to. Just in time. I was about to go look for you. What the... You already caused the whirlpools to reappear again? We're in luck. The phlogiston nodes were recharged by dawn. 
I had Karya and Varamdra control the nodes this time, and we were able to quickly unlock the mechanism. We were practicing all morning so they could get the hang of controlling them. Oh, it seems after apologizing, you've already become trusted members of the team. <sighs> Is now really the time to be teasing us? Don't forget that the whirlpools won't last all day. He's right. We should really hurry over to the massive whirlpool again. Even though we had this discussion yesterday, I still want to double check. You all trust me, right? You bet! Okay, then let's go! Swallowed some water. <laughs> so scary. What is this place? I can't believe it. There are subterranean caverns under the water. Mulani was right. Let's see where this cave leads. Come with me. We need to head downward? Okay. Don't be afraid, everyone. Jump down with me! Is that lava up ahead? It appears these caves were formed by volcanic activity. I see. Then the spirit waves were affecting lava deep underground. Altering the lava's flow created temporary holes, which allowed us to follow the water's current and enter this underground space. Yes, it can all be explained in theory now. Are all scholars from Sumeru like this? Uh, hard to say. But can there be an island in this kind of underground space? It appears we haven't reached our destination yet. Let's keep going, everyone. Let's keep going. We'll be able to see more clearly up ahead. Watch your step. Follow closely, everyone. Heads up! These volcanic caves aren't very stable, so watch out for falling rocks. Now. 
Let's look around together and see what we can find. Very well. It would indeed be useful to collect some environmental samples here. There's nothing unusual about that. This is spinel fruit, which often grows around places with lava. Wait, it is a little strange. This isn't ordinary spinel fruit. It's the same as the one on this talisman. Isn't that the talisman your teacher gave you? Yes. In which case, could Uncle New have been here before? But he clearly told me that he'd never made it to the mysterious island. Hmm, I'll be sure to ask him about it once we get back. Lava here doesn't look very stable. I'm afraid we can't stay here for long. Carving waves! From here, the light seems to be getting brighter. Speaking of which, where is that light coming from? A distant light. Wait, there seems to be a mark that matches that on the map. Misguide. It seems Barandra has also discovered something. I've got it! I've got it! Do you see that golden light in the distance? I'm positive that's the mysterious island. That's where we should go next. Really? I'm a scholar from the Academia Spontama Darshan. I specialize in ores and minerals. When I first heard about the legend of the mysterious island, I took note of its description. One exaggerated description I heard was that it's an entire island that shines like gold. What it was actually referring to was an extremely rare mineral known as vulcanite. Under certain environmental conditions, large amounts of lava are quickly cooled, which then results in this ore. Since the ore can't be moved in time, it begins to accumulate resulting in the alluring golden glow. If I'm not mistaken, there'll be a large pool of lava up ahead and the mysterious island will be floating on the lava. An entire island of vulcanite ore. So you mean we really found the mysterious island? Rejoice, even a small piece of that ore will be priceless. Really? Then let's hurry. Wait, Paimon. We should head back now. Uh, why? What are you saying? This map is covered with symbols and riddles, but there's one thing that's written clearly. When you see the golden light, then go the opposite way. What you just said may be correct, but that golden place isn't the island that my ancestors once visited. Are you joking? You expect me to turn back now? But... Mualani's judgment has always been right. If she says head back, then we should head back. We can't be fooled by the thought of treasure. You thought I'm after treasure? <laughs> oh, he's acting weird again. After my previous findings were stolen, I began a new area of research. And this ore is the core of my research. As long as I can bring this ore back, my theories will be proven beyond any doubt, and I will be able to reclaim everything I have lost. To me, this ore is the result that must be obtained. Otherwise, all those hardships along the way will be rendered completely meaningless. Don't you understand? As we agreed before, please trust my judgment. 
Why? Are you wary of me? Now that we've confirmed that the legendary treasure really exists, you don't want outsiders to take it, do you? She's not that kind of person, Varamdra. The result is right before my very eyes. I won't give up here. Not good. We must stop him. <laughs> is it just Paimon or is the ground shaking? What the? Where did these monsters come from? These monsters. Looks like the lava here is becoming active again. Misguide. Veronica, he... He'll be trapped by the lava. We need to hurry and take care of these monsters. Let's ride. Traveler, Paimon, please take care of Karya. I'll be right back. What are you doing, Mulani? I can use my surfboard on the lava for a short period of time, but it will be a lot spicier than surfing on water. But that's way too risky! Okay then, we'll take care of things here! It's right there! I'm almost there! Look carefully. You can't get through the lava. You'll die if you try to make your way forward. Why don't you just give up? Why don't I give up? Well, I might not be able to do it, but what about you? Me? You have the ability to move over the lava. If you try, maybe you can reach the island and earn the highest honor for a guide. That way, you'll have the results you need to prove yourself, and even Ko'olo won't be able to question your abilities anymore. You want to know why I won't give up, but I'm asking why you'd give up such an opportunity. The lava is rising! If I take this risk, then how will the others get back? Did you forget? I already gave you my answer. You! Come with me. No! They're back! I've brought him back. He's fortunate that he wasn't seriously hurt. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you so much, Miss Guide. You're welcome. It's getting dangerous here, so we need to find a way out. No, I refuse! I can still stand! Let me go back! Seriously? How can you be so childish at a time like this? Varondra! 
Whoa. I've always believed that you're the most talented person I've ever met. Even if your research was stolen and you didn't get any credit, I never doubted it. I believe that even if you won't obtain any results this time, you'll still succeed in your new research, because no one can take your talent away. So, I won't allow my dearest senior to die here because of his own stubbornness. Kari. She's finally opening up. And it seems like she's just the person we need to talk some sense into him. Lulani, the lava is almost here! Don't panic. It seems like the trick that Uncle New taught me is finally going to be put to use. No time to explain. Just get on! Got it, got it! Everyone okay? Oh, let's take a head count. One, two, three, four, five. Whew, we're all here. We escaped danger and made it back alive. That's what I call good luck. I think our fortune can only get better from now on. Oh, really? What's the point? We still didn't reach the mysterious island. Hey, don't look so depressed. You'll scare our good luck away. Actually, according to the map, we still have one more leg of the journey. Oh? Then which way should we go? W wait, aren't we back where we started? Come on, let's go to the statue. appeared on the statue after I touched it. Really? Let Paimon try! Congratulations, guide from the future. You have completed a challenge that even I found ambitious. And now, I finally have the chance to tell you my story. You may have heard legends describing me as the best guide in all of Natlin. But in the beginning, I was more like a treasure hunter. I chased results, facing countless dangers to prove myself. Time after time, I ventured where others didn't dare, never failing to bring back rare treasures. My fame was second to none. And yet, I never felt satisfied. So I found a new goal, a challenge that no one had ever achieved before. The legendary, mysterious island. Another chance to prove myself. Unfortunately, my friends who had traveled with me all this time had grown tired of my nonsense. Instead of praise, they now showered me with words of caution. Perhaps this journey was one that I had to complete alone. But luckily, they decided to once again put up with my antics. Just as before, they came up with ingenious ways to help me move forward. They never let me down, even when I had to place my life in their hands. And they always trusted my judgment, even when it took a lot of courage. In the end, just as ever, we found the result we came for. But... That golden glow was baiting me towards death. It was the glow of a rare ore, but it was also the warning sign of an impending eruption. Maybe if I pressed on and put my life on the line, I could get the result I wanted. And yet, there was a chance I'd lose something even more precious. 
But don't worry. In the end, I made the same choice as you. Everyone was disappointed that their illustrious guide had, for once, returned empty-handed. But seeing everyone survive, I felt satisfied for the first time in my life. Perhaps the treasure I had really been searching for had been right here with me all along. So, I decided to end my long journey and find a safe place for my hard-earned treasure. To me, this is the real mysterious island. The hidden inscriptions disappeared! These must have been the words the first chief left for those that would come after him. In that case, the mysterious island from the legend is actually where the people of the springs are living now! I remember now that the elders once told me our tribe was originally founded on a small island. Later, the coastlines changed, allowing the island to become what it is today. The journey to the mysterious island starts exactly where it ends. I think I understand the choice he made now. The golden glow is an indicator of when the lava will periodically erupt. Hmm. If that's the case, the principle of vulcanite formation implies that it will only appear at the start of fierce lava activity, and the flowing lava will quickly swallow it and make it all disappear without a trace. This means that there's zero possibility of ever bringing the ore back. Are the results I've been chasing all this time? Only an illusion that can be seen from far away? Haramdra... Our journey is not yet over. As we agreed, please come back to the people of the springs with me. Then we'll officially complete this journey. Fine. I suppose that would also count as some kind of result. Don't be so down. I have a feeling that the next answer I'm looking for will also be useful to you. I don't remember, Sam. There's still something important we need to ask Mualani's teacher about! Uncle Nu! We're back! Ah, Mualani. It's good to see you again. I always knew you'd return safe and sound. Uncle, I've completed the journey to the mysterious island. I'm here to return the talisman. But you still have a question you wish to ask me, right? Yes. You've been there before, haven't you? Yes, I have. If that's the case, then you've gone on the same journey. But why didn't you tell anyone? Because... I made a choice. A choice? Did you notice that the hidden inscriptions on the stone tablet disappeared as soon as you finished reading them? Oh yeah, you're right! There's a special paint on the statue that would change color when it comes into contact with volcanic dust. Only those who have been to that underground space will be contaminated by the dust and be able to see the hidden message. But once the dust starts to wear off, the hidden inscription will disappear again. And this is the choice that the first chief left to us. If you choose to boast about your deeds, you will receive the highest honor but the legend of the mysterious island would be destroyed as well. If you choose to remain silent, then the mysterious island will remain a legend and continue to attract the next generation of young guides to rise to the challenge. In the end, my companions and I all chose the latter. Oh, I get it now. But not being able to tell anyone after accomplishing such a feat... People like Ko'olo will still look down on you. Are you really okay with that? But have you noticed that Ko'olo, who claims to have been to the island, hasn't actually completed the trip? What? Right. Haima remembers that Ko'olo said that he went to the mysterious island alone. But there's no way he could have been able to use the spirit ways! He deliberately recommended the client to find Mualani 
probably because he thought she wouldn't be able to reach the mysterious island. That way, Mulani wouldn't be able to expose him. As guides, we are not adventurers, let alone treasure hunters. The greatest responsibility of a guide is to take the client to their destination safely. But in the process, we also gain much skill and experience at overcoming danger. This allows us to go to places that no one else can reach and even find treasures that no one else can find. Many guides gradually lose sight of their true beliefs and intentions in the process and end up becoming like Kolo. They end up becoming more like thieves who would rush to the other side of the lava lake regardless of the consequences rather than good guides who would turn around and save their friends. This is why the first chief left behind the legend and the map to lure younger generations into taking up the challenge, thereby teaching them everything he had learned. Aside from me, many other tribe members have also traveled to the mysterious island. And just like me, they understood the first chief's intentions. So they've also made pacts with their companions, choosing to give up the results that would prove themselves and give the younger generation the chance to continue the challenge. You've all given up on the results. Sir, I've given up on merely one result. I haven't given up on everything. Given her talent and qualifications, Mualani was well within her rights to choose the top-ranked guide Kohlo as her teacher, but she chose me. I believe I was able to cultivate such an outstanding student and witness her completion of the legendary challenge precisely because I didn't become someone like Koolo. If instead of looking at one single journey, we look at my entire career as a guide, I'd say I have not returned empty-handed. What about you? Hmm. Karia? I've come up with a new research topic. Would you like to continue working as my assistant? You're the same as always, Varamdra. You always have to find evidence before coming to a conclusion. I... <sighs> In any case, I can't give you an answer right now. Karia! Because you haven't prepared the proposal yet. Shouldn't you finish that first before recruiting assistants? How could you forget? Ah, uh, yes, of course. I'll certainly prepare all the necessary details. But I've always found your proposals fascinating, so I'm sure I won't be able to turn you down this time either. Karia. Given that I have been presented with new evidence, I have come up with a very general theory. I can use the ideas from the Chief's speech to express it. Perhaps the treasure I'm seeking has been by my side the entire time. No. To, to be more precise, it's been with me even before I set out on this journey. I understand, Varandra. It appears this guest has also found his answer. It seems he's finally put two and two together. There's nothing to worry about. It's just like Karia said. I can start some new research and reclaim everything I've lost. But it seems he's still as stubborn as before. Now, it's your turn to make the choice, Mulani. But, Uncle Nu, I'm sure anyone who can complete the journey to the island would make the same choice, right? Very good. Then there's nothing more I can teach you. Here, take this talisman again. You can pass it on to your student in the future. Looks like it's also our time to say goodbye. You've taken great care of us throughout our journey. As thanks, I'm also willing to keep the journey a secret. Then remember, the next time you come to visit the people of the Springs, you know where to find friends for help. Friends? I suppose we are theoretically friends now, yes. When I publish my next paper, I'll be sure to add you to my list of acknowledgements. Well, that's one way to thank someone. Then Varandra and I will be taking our leave. I truly hope we'll get to see you all again someday. Okay, bye-bye! Your 
back already. So, as new student, did you manage to find the mysterious island? Uh, what are you doing here all of a sudden? Well, I found something even more precious than the island. Two friends that I can trust with my life. You... <clears throat> Seems you really learned a lot from New about how to make yourself feel better. I knew it. How could anyone ever reach the island with so many hindrances? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Huh? What? Why are you all looking at me like that? The elders of the tribe also gave me that same look. What's that supposed to mean? New! I've already proven that I'm stronger than you. I've been to even more dangerous places and found far more precious treasures. I've even been to... The Mysterious Island! Why do you still look at me as if my words don't bother you at all? Kohalo, even if you had never been to the island, no one would deny your abilities. But as for what we would deny about you, <laughs> only you can find the answer to that. Me? <laughs> so now, our trip to the mysterious island is officially finished, right? Yeah, but I have one more place I want to show you. Come with me. This is the place. From what I've heard, if we take a group photo here, it'll bring us good luck. I'm sure of it. What made you think of taking a group photo? Well, we completed our trip to the mysterious island together, so of course we need a memento to keep. <sighs> You've earned the greatest honor for a guide, yet you can only walk away with a photo of your friends. You're pretty amazing, Mulani. You really sacrificed a lot for your tribe. Would you call it a sacrifice? Mm, I don't really think so. Actually, after hearing Uncle New's answer, I have this vague feeling that after all that we've been through together, that the results don't matter anymore. Oh, it's kind of hard to explain. I don't know if you get me or not. No, I get it. So that's your answer, huh? To the meaning of a journey? It's a good one. Then let's make this group photo yet another part of your journey. Yep, Paimon's ready! Three, two, one. <laughs> 